Welcome to the Acronis Online Backup Demonstration. It only takes a couple minutes to learn. Your first step is to select what files and folders to be backed up. You have a couple ways to choose what you want protected. You can choose by category on the top left with the associated file types on the right, any of which can be omitted if you don't want them, or by choosing specific folders and files on the bottom left. Using a simple Windows Explorer-like tree structure, simply check the files and folders which you want protected. The next step is to set your backup schedule. Start by entering your Windows credentials, then the frequency from the drop-down list box, and then the start time. After these simple steps, click OK, and now you never have to worry about your backup settings again. You can set and forget with the Acronis Online Backup Scheduler. Back on the main screen, Acronis Online Backup shows you how much backup capacity you have left here on the top right. When you are traveling or want to back up a critical document without waiting for your scheduled backup to occur, simply press Backup Now and Acronis Online Backup will initiate a backup immediately. In the event you need to shut down your machine before your backup is completed, you can suspend the backup process. An Acronis Online Backup keeps track of how much of the backup process has been completed. Right next to the Backup button is the Recover button. The restore process is just as easy. Press the Recover button and you will see the list of completed backups by date along the bottom of the screen. Select the specific backup you want to restore from. And you can do the same thing from any internet connected PC, even if it is not the same PC that the data was backed up from. You can now access your critical information wherever you are. You don't need to carry your laptop everywhere you go. You have a couple options for how you want to recover your files. You can enter the file name or part of it in the search box here at the top right. And you will see all of the backups and the date timestamps for all versions of the file. Or you can select the completed backup by its date timestamp. Then select the files and folders you want to recover. Next, choose the location on your machine that you want the file to be loaded to. It's that simple. There are additional options and settings. You can see connection attempts, how many times does the application try to connect to the online service, and how many seconds between each attempt. Storage connection speed. Do you want to limit the bandwidth that the backup service uses in case you are doing other online tasks at the same time and do not want to impact network performance? Storage cleanup. Do you want to delete old files or older versions of files automatically? Proxy settings. If you connect to the internet via a proxy, configure it here. Backup priority. Compared with other Windows tasks competing for your computer's CPU, where do you want a Cronus Online Backup to be prioritized? We recommend leaving the setting at the default of low. Email notifications. If you want notifications, enter your email address here. Pre and post commands. If you want actions to be taken before or after the backup, select and configure them here. And finally, the Customer Experience Program. If you want to participate in our Customer Experience Program, enter it here. We hope you do. Acronis is always looking for feedback to improve its software and online services. The Acronis Online Backup Service is available two ways. Acronis provides the option of using Acronis Online Backup by itself, as you just watched, or in conjunction with its award-winning Acronis True Image Home 2010 backup software as an integrated solution for the ultimate in data protection. To order Acronis Online Backup to protect your files and digital life today, go to www.acronis.com slash home computing slash products slash true image slash online backup. Thank you for your time.